With the Windows 10 anniversary update, the Microsoft Edge web browser receives some new features that its competitors like Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox have had for a very long time now. But hey, you know how they say, better late than never. One of them is the ability to use extensions, which is basically the most important change that was implemented in Edge after the latest update. And here's how you can install them. So when you open up the Edge browser, you want to click on the three dot button on the top right side, and then you want to click on extensions. Then you want to click on the blue link that says get extensions from the store. That should open up the store app, specifically the section for extensions for Microsoft Edge. Now, as of this moment, as you can see, there's really not much to choose from, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to install the translator extension. So once you find one that you want, you simply click on it. That will open up its page on the store where you can get more information on what the app does, system requirements, as well as some user reviews. When you decide that this is the extension you want to install, you're going to go to the top of the page and right here it should say free, of course, if the extension is free. In my case, it says install because I already installed this previously. But in any case, you want to click on the link and that should start the download and installation of the extension. So the next time you open the Edge browser, right here you should get a notification telling you that you have a new extension and to turn it on, simply click this button right here. Now since this is a translator, let me just show you a particular example. For the purposes of this tutorial, let's open the Juventus webpage. Now by default it's already in English, but let me just change to Italian. Now if the page can be translated, I have my little translation button, so if I click on it, it asks me if I want to translate this page. If I do, simply hit the blue button. And now as you can see, everything down here is in English. Of course, each extension has its own options, so if you click on this button right here again, go to extensions. If you click on the particular extension, you can get information on what it does, rate it or write a review. Here you have additional information on the version of the extension, when it was installed, what it's allowed to do. If you don't want to use it, but you don't want to uninstall it either, you can simply turn it off right here or turn it back on. If you want additional options, click on this button right here and that should open the options that your particular extension has to offer. If you don't want to use it anymore, simply hit uninstall and remove it from the Edge browser. Another new feature in the Edge web browser is the ability to pin tabs. So if you have a website that you frequently use, like YouTube for example, you can simply right click on the tab, click on pin, and that should transform it into a small icon on the tab bar, which will be there every time you open the browser. When you don't want it there anymore, simply right click and say unpin. Besides that, Microsoft has also added the option to receive web notifications. So when you visit a particular website, it can ask you if you want to get notifications. Should you allow notifications, they will appear in your action center and clicking on one will take you directly to the particular website. Another new feature in Edge that is going to be useful for people who are using touch capable devices is the ability to swipe left or right in order to navigate on a page which is something that was an option in the Windows 8 version of Internet Explorer. But anyways you guys, that would be all for this time. Be sure to stay tuned for more videos on new Windows 10 features. If you enjoyed this one, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and as always, stay strong.